Good Monday morning. Welcome to the Place to Be Reviews. I'm Etep Wakuyan right here with all of you. And first and foremost, I would like to say thank you. We just hit 102 subscribers this morning. So we'll have that channel backslash set up soon. Make it easier for you to find us in the future. Uh, you know, give us help in the algorithm. So, you know, uh, my uh, my humble gratitude and thank you to everybody who has uh, watched the videos, liked, shared, subscribed, and uh, we don't stop. We don't rest on our laurels here. It's uh, back to the grind. Now, this weekend was a different story. You know, I got to take time for the family and uh, just uh, friends and stuff like that. So that's what I did after the fan cast Friday night. I kind of took the weekend off, but that doesn't stop the news cycle right here. Something that starts in a couple weeks, and I'm going to be covering it in depth on the channel and have been since the trailer removed Batwoman reveals series premiere synopsis. This was from the 19th. Four days ago, but, you know, I'm still going to cover it. Uh, it's by Josh Riddle Hoover, CBR.com. The series premiere for the CW's Batwoman will show Kate Kane having to step up as the new protector of Gotham in the absence of Batman. They've made it a point to, uh, you know, be little Batman in this, in all the media thus far, in the press releases, articles, and trailers for this show. So why would we think it would stop now? An official synopsis of the show's first episode has been released, and hence we will get a look into Kate's past, Kate Kane's past, as well as the events that lead up to her donning the cowl, excuse me, as Batwoman allergies are really bad with the weather change in here. Moreover, the new series' first episode will introduce the Alice in Wonderland gang, who apparently have it in for Kate's father, who runs uh, Crow's, Crow's Security, that kind of serves as the protectors for Gotham. Uh, let's see. Per the, synop per the synopsis for Pilot, Kate Kane Ruby Rose never planned to be Gotham's new vigilante. Gotham is a city in despair. The Gotham Police Department have been overrun and outgunned by criminal gangs. As so many are in these dystopian future type scenarios. Enter Jacob, Jacob Kane, Dugray Scott in his military-grade Crow's private security, which now protects the city with omnipresent firepower and militia. Years before, Jacob's first wife and daughter were killed in the crossfire of Gotham crime. He sent his only surviving daughter, Kate Kane, away from Gotham for her safety after a dishonorable discharge from the military school and years of brutal survival training. Kate returns home when the Alice in Wonderland gang targets her father in a security firm by kidnapping his best crow officer and Kate's ex-girlfriend, Sophia Moore, Megan Tandy. Although remarried to wealthy socialite Catherine Hamilton Kane, Elizabeth Anouise, who bankrolls the Crows, Jacob is still struggling with the family he lost, while keeping Kate, his, the daughter he still has, at a distance. But Kate is a woman who's done asking for permission. Mm. We're in, this is where I should just cue the music, the, the I Am Whammon song that they played in the very first trailer that Caused that to get ratioed like a couple hundred thousand dislikes to 89,000 likes. No, there, like I said, there's a way to do strong female characters. And this is the way they went about presenting this uh, initially was very uh, polarizing for people who would probably be in the audience. But like I said, I'm going to watch it. So you don't have to. That's that's why I'm doing I'm jumping on that grenade. Uh, Kate is a woman who's done asking for permission in order to help her family in her city. She'll have to become the one thing her father loathes. A vigilante, with the help of her compassionate stepsister, Mary, that's Nicole Kang, and the crafty Luke Fox, Cameron Johnson, the son of Wayne Enterprises tech guru, Lucius Fox, Kate Kane continues the legacy of her missing cousin, Bruce Wayne, as Batwoman. Still holding a flame for Sophie, Kate uses everything in her power to combat the dark machinations of psychotic Alice, Rachel Scarston, who's always somewhere slipping between sane and insane, armed with a passion for social justice and a flair for speaking her mind. Kate soars through the shadowed streets of Gotham as Batwoman. Why would you include this right here? Armed with a passion for social justice. Okay. You really want to put that out there in the synopsis? It's not like you didn't just give away basically the entire synopsis within this one article. You just virtue signaled right there. I mean, this is, oh, this is going to be a cringe fest. 
you know, I, I'd, I'd said a couple times with a few of the trailers, I'm like, this actually didn't look as bad as the one before. But, armed with a passion for social justice. I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you want? I mean, you're, you're, this, this isn't the way to get your message across. This is, you know, ham-fisted, whereas you could be a little bit more subtle. Mm. And people would probably, you know, still watch the show, but this is just going to turn a lot of people right off right here. I mean, you're not, you you catch more flies with honey than, you, I don't know how the saying goes, but I mean, you're just, it doesn't, you know, get woke, go broke. And I, I don't see this show lasting more than one season. Um, Ruby Rose's dialogue delivery so far has been, eh. so, I, I don't know. This is just. Let's see what else we have in this. Uh, Batwoman will feature as part of the CW's Arrowverse, which includes also includes the Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow. Both the CW app and CW TV will stream the series. Written by Caroline Dries, developed by Berlanti Productions, no surprises there, and Warner Brothers Television, Batwoman stars Ruby Rose, Rachel Scarston, Megan Tandy, Camrys Johnson, Dugray Scott, Elizabeth Anuise, and Nicole Kang. It will premiere on Sunday, October 6th, air... Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern. This is an hour before The Walking Dead. So I'll be uh, I'll be watching this and then uh, The Walking Dead directly afterwards. And you're going to get uh, my review of this will come first thing Monday morning. That'll be one of the uh, videos I do Monday mornings first thing after the gym because I'm starting. Uh, I was going to start going today. Uh, well, just lifting in my garage until it gets too cold and then I'll have to, you know, get a gym membership for the winter. But. I, uh, I was going to start lifting, but I have a, a sick little man today. He's home from school, so he's relaxing, and I'm doing this. But, yeah, so this show, is it's going to be a cringe fest. It absolutely is. For the, the few steps they took to kind of correct the initial course they were on, and that's just by trailer editing. I'm not saying they weren't going to make this show woke, because we all knew that's that's what it was right from the word go, based on the original trailer, which got ratioed to hell. So, like I said, I'm still going to watch it. It's going to be bad, but I don't want you guys to have to suffer through this. Hey, that being said, I'm out of here. I got more videos to do. I got things to do today. So, thank you to all 102 of my subscribers. I would like you guys to bitch slap that like button for me. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us grow. Turn that bell on for notifications. Tonight, the podcast. Is going to be, we're going to do an anchor hour. We'll do one hour on Anchor FM. That'll be available for streaming later on this evening after the live stream. Now, you say live stream. That'll be Monday night going in raw featuring myself and Coach Loudy. We're going to talk some wrestling. We've got a lot of pop culture, you know, uh, entertainment stuff to talk about. But we're going to throw some wrestling talk in on that this evening as well. It's just going to be uh, myself and Coach Loudy. So check that out. Uh, we'll do the Anchor Hour first, then we'll switch on over to the YouTube channel. I'll be sure to post a link to that stream for you guys so you can join us. Because we're going to do about an hour on Anchor and then an hour and a half on YouTube. That being said, I'm E. Tepokuyan of The Place to Be Reviews. Thank you, and if I don't see you, have a great day and a pleasant